مسجد للصلاة فيقول من تواضع لله رفعه فما حكم صلاته هذا ما هو بتواضع الله جل وعلا يقول يا بني آدم خذوا زينتكم عند كل مسجد يعني عند كل صلاة والزينة ليست ستر العورة فقط بل الزينة تشمل الملابس تزين للصلاة تقابل رب العالمين تقف بين يديه تزين بما تستطيع من الزين تقديرا للصلاة وتعظيما للموقف بين يدي رب هذا شيء مطلوب والله جاء والحديث يقول إذا وسع الله عليكم فوسعوا يقول إذا إن الله يحب أن يرى أثر نعمته على عبده يا أخي هذا ما ما هو بتواضع هذا هذا ما هو بتواضع نعم لا تلبس الملابس الفاخرة لا تلبس الملابس الفاخرة يصير هذا من الشهرة تلبس الملابس المتوسطة النظيفة الجميلة إن الله جميل يحب الجمال نعم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد علامة بن علامة صالح بن فوزان بن عبد الله الفوزان حفظ الله تعالى was asked he said the imam of the masjid he has a lot of wealth however when he comes to the prayer he comes with a dirty izar this is like a waist garment and a dirty uh, kamis in the upper garment uh, and when he uh, and when it is set when I say to him why don't you buy some new clothing for prayer he says uh, whoever is humble before Allah Allah will raise him so what is the the ruling regarding his prayer Alama bin Fuzan Hafid Allah Ta'ala said this is not uh, humbleness before Allah the Almighty. He says, uh, Allah the Almighty says, O children of Adam, take from, uh, prepare from your, your zinatukum, from your, your beauty, uh, in any, uh, before entering any masjid or in, when you are at any masjid. So prepare yourself with, beautify yourself bef uh, at every masjid. And then the sheikh says, uh, for every prayer. He said, this means for every prayer. And zina or beautification is not just uh, covering your the parts that you need to cover on your body to, you know, uh, to cover yourself for, for prayer. He said, rather, zina or beautification includes all of the clothing that you beautify for the prayer before you stand before your Lord, before the Lord of all creation. So beautification with what you're able to beautify yourself when you prepare for the prayer and glorify or exalt the prayer in order that you may stand before your Lord, then this is what is required. And he said the hadith where it says that if you if Allah increases you in wealth, then you then it upon then it's upon you to spend that wealth and he said as well or in another hadith verily allah loves that he loves to see the effect of his blessings or his bounty upon his servant oh my brother this is not uh, humility. Nam, to so do not uh, wear clothing which is um, fancy. 
so uh, otherwise that might be a sort of shahra or seeking fame or you know having clothes which is unknown to that the people think exalts fame he said but rather wear clothing which is uh in the middle that's clean and that's beautiful and verily allah is jamil and he loves jamal or beauty and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.